If there's one holy grail skincare advice that everyone agrees on, it is wear sunscreen. Why? Because UV rays from the sun can damage your skin and cause sunburns, which is known to cause skin cancer like melanoma. But does sunscreen actually protect you from skin cancer? Scientific evidence isn't as strong as we would like it to be. Compared to global statistics, the researchers found that India has a very low incidence of melanoma. Skin cancer is relatively rare in India compared to other parts of the world with an estimated incidence of around 0.5 to 1.5% of all cancers. And the major reason for this is what we call as the brown skin which is nothing but the pigment melanin present in our skin which is protective in function, it protects us from UV damage, it protects the DNA from the damaging effects of the sunlight. Now this doesn't mean that dark skinned people don't get skin cancer, in fact skin cancer can happen to people of all skin types. However, there are only four long-term studies that examine sunscreen's role in preventing skin cancer. And none of these really look at the efficacy of sunscreen in preventing skin cancer in otherwise healthy individuals. Also, do we know whether sunscreen really works on South Asian skin? There's very little research to back it. If we specifically talk about the role of sunscreen in skin cancer, Yes, the data is scarce and the reason as I already mentioned is that the skin cancer itself is rare in India. So we don't have a good sample size in India. Now just to be clear, we're not trying to argue against the use of sunscreen. It's pretty known that sunlight can damage your skin and it makes sense to protect yourself. Apart from skin cancer, there are plenty of dermatological disorders that are caused by sunlight exposure. The more known ones include pigmentary disorders like melasma, tanning and wrinkling of the skin, sagging of the skin, photo-aging. What we need is more robust research to know if the shield we think is safeguarding us from skin cancer is actually doing a good job. Finally, here are some things to keep in mind while choosing a sunscreen. First, you have to know what type of skin do you have. Do you have oily, acne-prone skin, dry skin or sensitive skin? It also depending upon the type of activities that you do. If you're going out for a vacation to a beach or mountains, preferably you should use a SPF 50 sunscreen. For otherwise, if you have a sedentary lifestyle, you can go for an SPF 30 sunscreen. That sunscreen becomes effective 20 minutes after application. So next time you're heading out, make sure you apply it 15 to 20 minutes before going out. 